It's just unfortunate that we have witnessed a selective application of the law when it comes to enforcing NEMA laws and regulations. Some time back, we saw uh, some problems with, uh, with our bridges. You remember, uh, was it last year? The Katonga Bridge sunk in. It was because of the pressure that water created around that bridge as a result of rice growing in that area and sand excavation. Mbale, uh, Mbale witnessed some floods, especially in that industrial, industrial park. Recently, Chengera Road, I mean Masaka Road around Chengera, also the road sunk in. Why? Because of land filling and those big tanks around there. Those fuel tanks. So now, we get problems whenever such things come. However, this is our observation. Why are they enforcing their laws? They are doing it selectively. The rich and the poor are not getting the same treatment. When we are brought, when we are demolishing those houses, some, some houses were left, others were demolished, but in the same area. Giving an argument that maybe, for example, the, the, is it Stabex? Stabex, Kumbucha Factory, uh, I think for, even with the police post around, they were not affected. And the reason given was those ones have a certificate. But as some Ugandans, we are very much alive to the fact that most of these certificates are awarded as a result of corruption. We are addressing an issue to do with environmental conservation. First of all, we would like to sympathize with those people whose properties we are destroyed by NEMA. We are sorry for them. However, this should come to their attention that as we conserve the environment, there are innumerable benefits ranging from natural water filtration or purification of water that we use. It is done by, through uh, the processes in the wetlands. So we need to conserve the wetlands. We need not to, to destroy them. Two, these wetlands and forests help in the formation of rainfall through the processes I want to go through. And then they help us in tackling the flooding, the, 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 the flooding problem. So it's very imperative and important that we conserve the environment, we keep our forests, we keep the wetlands alive. 